Hallelujah to the mighty God. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy upon you that this week and from this end moment henceforth, you shall begin to manifest in abundance of grace beyond the usual. In the name of Jesus, every aspect of your life that you have been struggling, receive abundance of grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, mount up with wings as eagles and begin to fly. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Second Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 says that God is able to make all grace, hallelujah, all grace, every favor and earthly blessing come to you in abundance that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need may be, you shall be self-sufficient, possessing enough Hallelujah. To require no aid and support, support, and be furnished in abundance for every good work. Hallelujah. And charitable donation in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy upon you right now by the Spirit of the living God and according to his word, that henceforth begin to manifest in abundance of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. He said you shall be self-sufficient to require no aid or support to be self-sufficient. Hallelujah. You know what that means? In Exodus 36, when the children, God commanded Moses that they should build the sanctuary, you see, the Bible says, from verse 1, say God put wisdom and understanding. Hallelujah. In Bezalel and Eholia and some other men, he put wisdom and understanding in them. To be able so that they were able to walk all manner of works, hallelujah, for the service of the sanctuary, according how God has commanded Moses. So they were the children of Israel were self-sufficient to build that sanctuary. They need nobody, they need not to go and pay money to hire anybody. What money could not do, wisdom solved the problem. Hallelujah. So they were self-sufficient in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be self-sufficient in wisdom in solving problems, in bringing solutions to your family, to your generation, even to your job, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see, to be self-sufficient, you can be self-sufficient in good health, in divine health. You may not even have money to go and be paying, spending at the hospital, but because you are self-sufficient in good health, you are living in enjoying divine health, so there's no need for you to be going in and out to the hospital, paying money, spending money, because you are self-sufficient. Say in the name of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord my God, make me self-sufficient in good health, in the name of Jesus. Father, make me self-sufficient in divine health, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. See, the Bible also says that wisdom is a defense, money is a defense, but the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Hallelujah. Wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Say in the name of Jesus, I am self-sufficient in wisdom. In the name of Jesus. I am self-sufficient in understanding. In the name of Jesus. I am self-sufficient. Hallelujah. In counsel. In might. In the name of Jesus. I am self-sufficient in the power of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. I am self-sufficient in knowledge of God. In the name of Jesus. I am self-sufficient in love. In the name of Jesus Christ. He says it's God that gives you power to get wealth. Say in the name of Jesus. I am self-sufficient in wealth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You see, the enemy might be waiting. You see, to mock you. In terms of need, kind of. But when you are self-sufficient, you receive that grace from the Lord. You will see things will just be falling in shape. Into places in, on, on, in your favor. Without even you spending money, without you stretching yourself, that is God has made you self-sufficient. Even before you ask for something, hallelujah, people already come around you. What you don't even ask for, they were people were blessing you with it. You see, when they were building the sanctuary, Moses had to be telling the people that it's enough to stop bringing things, that they have more than enough when they were building the sanctuary. In Exodus 36, say in the name of Jesus, I will have more than enough to be self-sufficient, even to bless others. In the name of Jesus, I will be self-sufficient even for my family, for my generation. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah to the mighty God. He said God is able to make all grace, hallelujah, every favor, 
earth, an earthly blessing come to you, to me, in abundance, that you may always and under all circumstances and whatever the need may be, you see, to be self-sufficient, to be self-sufficient will put you in perfect peace. Hallelujah. We make you to keep your focus. There will not be distraction. You will not be troubled. There will not, you will not be anxious because you are self-sufficient in all that you need. Hallelujah. To be self-sufficient now, you see, the amount of money you have in your bank account does not determine that, does not dictate that. It has nothing to do with what you have in your bank account. It has nothing to do with what kind of car you are driving or what kind of house you are living. Hallelujah. You might be driving a very cheap car and you don't have to go to the in and out to the hospital. You are enjoying good health. You lack nothing. You are self-sufficient. Somebody might be driving very expensive car, but they don't have peace. You see? So even in peace, you are self-sufficient. You are not troubled. You are not anxious. When you sleep, you sleep well. Hallelujah. You don't have all kind of people in your heart that are living in your heart for free. Your heart is not trouble. Nobody, you are not against anybody. That means you are self-sufficient in peace. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I am self-sufficient in peace, in joy, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I prophesy upon you right now. Any areas of your life that you have been struggling, receive grace. Not just grace, abundance of grace. And begin to soar and begin to prosper in the name of Jesus Christ. Every area of your life that people have been mocking you right now, receive grace and be self-sufficient in the name of Jesus. Let the Lord prepare a table before you in the presence of those that despise you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Maybe you are listening to me right now. You are, you are in this kind of a tough situation. You don't even know what to do. Receive wisdom to solve that problem now. In the name of Jesus, receive understanding, receive knowledge now. In the name of Jesus, let help come your way supernaturally. In the name of Jesus Christ, say this week, I walk into my abundance of grace. In the name of Jesus, say this week, I declare I am self sufficient in all areas of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, so shall it be unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, and I also pray upon you right now that you will be furnished with. All in abundance. Hallelujah. You'll be furnished in abundance. Hallelujah. For every good work and charitable donation in the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord my God, furnish me with abundance of grace for every good work in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I will not abandon my calling in the name of Jesus. I will not be replaced in the name of Jesus. I will finish well in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 15 verse 13 says, May the God of hope fill you with joy, hallelujah, and peace in believing, and peace in believing, hallelujah. Say, O oh Lord my God, fill me with so much joy and peace in the name of Jesus. Say, this week I will enjoy so much peace than ever before in the name of Jesus. By the grace of God, I will not lose my joy, the joy of the Lord that is my strength, I'm not losing it in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. I commission you right now in the name of Jesus. Go forth and enjoy abundance of grace. Abundance of grace. Abundance of grace in the name of Jesus. Let favor begin to speak for you in the name of Jesus. Where people are spending ad and money, you begin, let favor begin to speak for you there in the name of Jesus. Where you could not get with money, let favor begin to get it for you even this week. In this last quarter of the year, in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, go and share your testimonies. The Lord bless you now and forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.